top officials of the ministry and NCDC told Sahara reporters on Thursday that the whole coronavirus crisis in the presidency and indeed Nigeria's power circle could have been totally different today if Kayare, one of the most influential figures in Buhari's regime, had not deliberately flouted safety instructions after returning to the country following visits to Germany and Egypt earlier this month. Two days after it was confirmed that Chief of Staff to President Muhammadu Buhari, Abakiari had contracted the deadly coronavirus, facts have emerged on how he fragrantly disregarded safety warnings by officials of Ministry of Health, Nigerian Center for Disease Control and the Presidential Task Force on Coronavirus headed by Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa. Top officials of the ministry and NCDC told Sarah reporters on Thursday that the whole coronavirus crisis in the presidency and indeed Nigeria's power circle could have been totally different today if Kayari, one of the most influential figures in Buhari's regime, had not deliberately flouted safety instructions after returning to the country following visits to Germany and Egypt earlier this month. Hmm. Both countries have hundreds of confirmed infections together and dozens of deaths from the virus. Upon his return to Nigeria from those countries, it was reliably gathered that Kiari, who was who has a history of diabetes and is and is in his seventies, refused to observe the mandatory fourteen day self isolation period, instead going about his normal activities and subjecting dozens of persons, including ministers, state governors and also Villa staff to the risk of contracting the virus. Already three of his, of his staff are tested positive for the virus. After returning to Nigeria on March 13, Kayari attended the wedding of the son of the Inspector General of Police, Muhammad, Muhammad Adamu, in company with Kano State Governor, Abdullahi Ganduji, and business tycoon, Aliko Dangote. Two days later, Kayari attended a meeting of all Progressive Congress governors with President Muhammadu Buhari on March 16. The meeting was attended by 16 out of the 20 governors of the ruling party. He also had an encounter with the embattled national chairman of the party, Adam Sushumole. On March 17, Kayari led a delegation to Kene Kogi State to commiserate with Governor Yaya Belu over the loss of his mother. He shook hands with Belu and had close contact with several guests at the event. That same day, after returning to Abuja, Kayari attended a briefing session by the Presidential Economic Advisory Council led by Professor Doi Salami. The two men had close contact and even took pictures together. On March 18, Kayari attended the Federal Executive Council meeting, while the next day he was at the inauguration of the National Humanitarian Coordination Committee. Sahara reporters gathered that Kayari moved around these places despite strict warnings by the Presidential Task Force on Coronavirus that all persons returning from high-risk country for the virus like Germany and United Kingdom should self-isolate for 14 days. It is not the first time that we have, we have seen him act in this manner. He flouts the law regularly and he has always gotten away with it until now, a source said in reference to Kayari. Ironically, in a leaked memo dated March 21, 2020, addressed to Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, Kayari expressed displeasure at the refusal of legislators to undergo coronavirus checks at the country's airport upon arriving in Nigeria. According to him, this could jeopardize all efforts put in place by government to curtail the spread of the deadly virus. In the memo, Kayari had said, it has, been brought, it has been brought to the attention of the Honorable Minister of Health recently that some members of the House of Representatives are refusing to subject themselves to medical screening at airports. As you are aware, this screening are our primary line of defense and refusal by any citizen to subject to this test is a threat to our nation. Accordingly, you are kindly requested to direct all members of the House of Representatives who returned to Nigeria from foreign trips to report themselves to the nearest NCDC test center with immediate effect. However, 
the latest development, it is now evidently clear that Kayari was in fact the biggest breaker of the rule. He castigated others of flouting. Following his flagrant, flagrant disregard for laid down rules, NCDC and Ministry of Health officials fear that tracing all possible contact with him and curtailing the fording, further spread of the virus could be tougher than initially expected. He said, I don't think the NDC, the NCDC can trace everyone who shook hands with or met him at meetings and functions. And that is why we are asking everyone who were at those gatherings to immediately self-isolate even if they don't display any symptoms at all, the source told Sarah Reporters. Following Kiari's infection and contact with Buhari, Sarah Reporters on Tuesday exclusively reported that the presidential intensive care unit was activated for the number one citizens used especially after he started coughing severely and caused panic among presidency officials. Buhari has yet, has yet to be disclosed medical ailments and in fact spent five months in London, United Kingdom in 2017 for treatment. He has visited the UK several times, more since than period for treatment. Activities inside Aso Villa have already been suspended in a bid to curtail the spread of the virus inside Nigeria's power factory. With Kayari's current OD, there are growing concerns that decision-making on key issues in government could be suspended, slowing down the progress of the country in almost every aspect. Already, the confirmed number, number of infections has risen to 51 in Nigeria, with one recorded death. Hmm. So guys, uh, that is exactly what they do. They will put law in place. They will like, oh, do you know who I am? No, I am bigger than that. Ah, a oh me. That is the language. A oh me. What do you mean? A oh me. And that is the same thing that this uh, uh, of rep members, the same thing they displayed. And he was even accusing them. And meanwhile, he did not even observe that 14 days. He was just moving, sharing. There's love in sharing. It was just sharing because it felt that maybe the coronavirus were like, oh, hey, oh, this one is a, this one is a Buaris manu, eh? I know we feel nearer. We don't talk, huh? you know, they see your face. You don't know anybody. This thing does not know what you have in your bank account. So it was just sharing, sharing is, sharing is unknowingly to them. Even those who are, those who always do high service. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. They didn't know that they were collecting. Unless those who are going to have a strong immunity, those are the ones that will not be able to get it because it's not everybody. Hey, you know, sometimes they say no be everybody head. Now they, they if they if they offend, so no be some some people their destiny is strong. Hey, maybe that you know we Africans now we can go in that line. But in a real sense, some some people who uh who have a, a great uh, maybe high immunity, maybe it might not really affect them. But those who who they are they are still doing poco poco poco. They are, they are, a lot of them don't collect and they are really afraid to go to NCDC office to go and do the test. And those people, the NCDC from the of, NDC, NCDC office, they are the one complaining to Sahara reporters, so newsmen, that this, if uh, if he had done what he needed to do initially, you know, it would have been able to, if they would have been curtailed. But the first thing is that this thing has been on since January. Everybody and a lot of countries have been shouting and it's the country that he even went to, why would he even go to that place? That was why the same thing, when Buhari went to London, they wanted to sign something. They left uh, the vice president. He went to London to sign the, the, I don't know what he went to sign. People were like, why would you go to the UK to sign? You know, that thing would have waited for Buhari to come. I don't know whether this a, uh, 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 this a uh, petroleum something, something bill. They just go, you don't reach UK. You don't come back to Nigeria. People were like, but Buhari would have waited. It's not, it was not as if this thing was really so important or so, you know, it was in a hurry for, for it to be signed. They just went, you know, they were just wasting money. That's what they know. See now, the tea don't buy fire. But, you know, the problem now is that it's like they are going to be suspending a lot of things now because or because of him. And I was even telling somebody that even Buari might not even have the sickness. It could be that, you know, because without Abakiari, he cannot even do much. So a lot of things will be exposed. Maybe now all those kind of things can't even make can't, can't they get some kind of fear. Hey, 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 hey. Kiari is not here. Kiari is not here. You know that most of the uh, government officials, or how do they call them, according to what they said before, that they needed to go through Abba Kiari before they can see the president. You know, people were complaining about that that time. So now that Kiari Abba Kiari is not, no more there for the now, 
uh -huh, because it's in, it's in isolation. They cannot just hold the country to ransom because the VP, mm -hmm, you don't know his position because it's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be because what is a who is Abakari compared to the president is there and the vice president? Who is Abakari? It's just a whatever. So now because this is now where the maybe their secrets will be exposed. Maybe that is what is even giving the president a, a kind of concern that is raising his a maybe his BP or whatever or maybe he get the corrupt. They say like Mohammed has said nothing that people are just carrying rumors everywhere that nothing the, the president has not been coughing. You know, he's hell and hearty. And people are saying, okay, if he's hell and hearty, let him be addressing us now because we want to be hearing from him. You know, they, but they will tell you that they don't, you know, you can't force them. They are different. See, the arrogance now, it has, it is what has led, led them to all of these things now. To all these things now. Now they want to hold the country to ransom because Kiari is not there. Let's see what happens. Uh, we are still expecting more, more things to unfold. Definitely, we will not know who is who. Hmm. So some say so it's now Mr. Abakiari, it's not the sharer. Hmm. Well, already is a virus to the Nigerian people. Before adding another uh Kono cap to, to it, hope the he keeps on adding more caps. Mr. Abba, just thank God you are not from Ukraine. Where the Ukrainian health minister said if you are above 65 years old, you are good to join <laughs> your ancestors. No treatment for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh god above the law hmm, not above coronavirus yes yeah, so it can be above the law but not above coronavirus so guys uh, let us hear your own take you know the way these people flout the the law the constitution everything they put in place they flout it you know they're above the law somebody say but it can be above the law but you cannot be above corona nothing corona know they see your face you don't know who you be let's hear your comments leave your comment below in the comment section thank you